Hello? Yes, thank you very much. So, uh, hello everyone. Uh, I am Jeanette from OpenGIS and I am the replacement for Marco Benazzocchi. And today I will present you QField um, Fieldwork Redefined. Well, QField uh, 3 point series is uh, full of uh, new features, but uh, today is not what I want to talk to you about. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about what uh, we really care at uh, OpenGIS. And this is how over a quarter million people use QField monthly to solve their daily tasks and problems. Annually, 15 billion trees are cut down this is over three times the size of Slovakia. This highlights the significant impact of deforestation. <coughs> Slovakia is almost half covered by forests. These forests are naturally exposed to climate change with rising temperatures and droughts, making trees more and more susceptible to, the, to disease and pests. With some areas being more densely forested, such the central Slovakia region. Management to protect and preserve this forest is necessary. But today, I don't only want to talk about forest, of course. I want to take you on Matej's journey. Matej is 42 years old and he is a forestry manager in central Slovakia re region. He is a passionate nature enthusiast with a deep love for the forest. His profession is very closely, closely to his passion. On a typical working day, during his usual inspection, Matej discovered a very dry pass in the forest. The sight was shocking. He knew immediately that the trees had been infested and destroyed by beetles. He knew that not only immediate action was necessary, but also that stopping the spread is about meticulous work, efficient workflows, and quick reporting. The key to managing a problem is meticulous knowledge about, about the current status. A map with understandable symbology that reflects reality and provides an overview is essential. For example, showing the area of infested trees where fallen trees are blocking the street or other potential hazards may exist. Along with helpful map teams and legends. These tools are these tools enable a clear visual uh, representation of the current status, making it too easier to communicate the extent of the issue and coordinate a targeted response. Media recordings, such as photos, videos, and sounds, are also help to document the situation. With the help of the sketch over photo functionality, the damaged bridge caused by a fallen tree was quickly assessed and addressed. Forests are usually rather large. 
and the ability to work efficiently is a must. The tracking, fun the tracking functionality was one of the tools that enabled an, this efficient workflow. Taking quick decisions is often very, very important. And the more information you have when deciding, the better your decision will be. For instance, being able to provide exact measurements of the area size is very, very helpful. Furthermore, the rendering of the eleva elevation profile could provide important information for cleanup efforts. Through the form relationship, the gathered additional valuable information, Matei connected uh, um, his observation uh, Matei um, connected his obse observation directly to the affected area. This enhanced organization allow an effective and uh, effective forest management. However, they collected all the necessary information, the absence of an internet connection presented challenges in managing the observations and alerting the, their team and boss. This is where QFIELD's powers truly shown. It allowed them to continue work offline and later back to internet connection, synchronize their data uh, via QFIELD cloud. QFIT Cloud allows synchronization and merging of the collected data for further analysis. It's also worth, worth to mention uh, that it can enable auto push of changes to the cloud. That means for a two hours field work, they could push automatically this, uh, the changes every 10 minutes. This allowed them a near real time view of field work updates. The situation is very critical and local decision makers had to, had to respond immediately. Fortunately, Matei was able to create a PDF uh, uh, report using the PDF print functionality and send it via email to the major. And <laughs> since Matei often gets lost when he, in, uh, he wants to return to the office in stressful times, he asked OpenGIS if they could develop a plugin, a uh, routing plugin. Of course, they did. And thanks to QFIT Cloud, the deployment of additional plugins is very easy and straightforward. Thanks to QFIT's powerful features and the ability to collect data, even in offline mode, Matei and his team were able to respond promptly, promptly to the crisis and formulate a strategy to safeguard the forest. But it's obviously they don't just aim to eliminate beetles. Understanding the environmental role and how no their numbers affect other species um, <coughs> and forest health is vital too. 
For this, careful monitoring campaigns are needed, and QFIT can help in making repetitive work extremely efficient. So what we have seen so far <laughs> is how Mathieu used some of the QFIT's functionalities to work on his forestry problem and task. You can discover much more features like 3D layer handling, NFC and QR reader, multi-column support in feature form, locked screen, the orthogonized tool, and many, many more. We from QField developers consistently continue to roll out innovative fieldwork features. This is why QField is the leading, is the leading fieldwork app with 250,000 monthly users, 50,000 QField cloud users, available on Android, iOS, and Windows. And I'm very happy that I can share that we reached this summer 100 million downloads on Android with a 4.8 star rating by 5,000 reviews. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention that the major was so impressed with the accuracy and uh, comprehensiveness of the report that he decided to implement QField also in other areas, such as city planning, wastewater management, um, facility management, and touristic infrastructure. For this reason, they needed to grow. And we from OpenGIS are here for them to help for a consultancy and tailor-made solutions. We can get your project going, setting up SDI, integrate, integrating, integrating QField into your projects, or develop custom apps based on QField and QField Cloud. Thank you very much, and we are very excited to know what data you care about. Okay, we have plenty of time for questions. <laughs> Thank you for the Nice presentation. I wondered about your about the feature, like what exactly happens when you lose internet connection. Uh, you said that every ten minutes, so every ten minutes there would be an attempt to to reconnect, and then you can just uh, or yeah, if you can elaborate a little bit on this, like what yes. how because this is a very frequent. Sure. Uh, yes, it's not when you don't have internet connection. It's when you uh, have internet connection. You can either synchronize push changes, changes manually to the cloud. So then you have to push uh, a button, I want to push my changes. But you have also the possibility that uh, you can push changes automatically, so you don't have to push this button. You can say, okay, it's every 10 minutes, 20 minutes, uh, whatever, and you can just focus on your field work and it does it for you in the background. Of course, if you don't have uh, internet connection, when you will, when it will be connect, uh, connected and synchronized. That's it. <laughs> Thank you for a very interesting story. I'm from Shmava National Park, and I would like to say that uh, the bark beetle is saving our forests, not the foresters. Uh, just. Uh, just a small note. And the question is, uh, is there any tutorial that uh, enables me to prepare my first Quay field uh, uh, project? Yes, sure. We have a documentation uh, for QField where you have a step-by-step -step guide. And you can also join our workshop later today where we set up a project and you can learn uh, yourself how to do it. Any more questions? Uh, 
could you tell something more about uh, the plugins and how to implement them? Uh, yes, uh, I can give you a quick overview about the plugins, uh, but uh, I think later in the workshop we can yeah, see it together. But of course I can. So actually um, there is a repository on GitHub where different plugins uh, developed by different people, also by us. Uh, and you can just, um, with the drop-in function, put it to your uh, queue field. And uh, then um, a button will appear with this uh, plugin, and you can just um, yeah, uh, activate it. Um, we have now different plugins like the weather forecast, the routing plugin, and so on. And actually, the ideas are endless, <laughs> and the possibilities almost <laughs> as well. So yeah, but we can take a look together later uh, at one, I think, uh, half past one. We still have plenty of time, so if anyone has any questions for Jeanette on Qfield. I was too fast, sorry. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> okay. How about if you go to the field, to a place, remote place, for three months and there's no internet to start with? Can you use Qfield nevertheless? For three months. Uh, yeah, um, we, we have a re <laughs> we have research that we have research that go to the really remote places into Arctic tundra, and they don't have any internet yeah, there when they go there. But yeah. is it possible to use it there even though you don't have any internet for like two three months? Yeah, I don't think it's a problem if you mobile phone can manage <laughs> if you have enough uh, um, capacity to to change the data uh, to save the data because it's then local and once you have internet connection. It will package it and uh, and uh, send it to QFit Cloud. I don't think it's matter how long, for how long you don't have connection. There's no auto delayed function. <laughs> Your data is safe. Yes. Any other questions? All right. Well, let's give uh, Jeanette a warm round of applause for stepping up at the last minute to present this to us.